There are claims all over the internet stating that the Galadriel's theme is identical to a theme from A Bridge Too Far. Well, let's take a listen. Yeah, those do sound like the same notes, so did Bear steal from John Addison? No, I don't think so. Let's talk about why. The overall picture here is that this could actually be a case of multiple discovery, where more than one person came up with the same idea. So let's deconstruct this theme in a few ways. First, the notes themselves. Truly, this is just a few notes of a sequence. I admit this is a bit of a stretch here and more on a conspiracy theory territory, but this is actually an important note to point out is that we can find similarities everywhere, especially if we're looking for them. Take the Dumpkey Trio and E.T., that's pointed out a lot. And we can tag in Mahler 9 as well, which I don't see in these comparison conversations. Or since we were talking about Bear McCreary here in this video, how about the first four notes in Child's Play? That's Kylo Ren's theme. Now that was 100% accidental on those Bear 40 chest that somehow. If we let it play out a little bit more, we'll see that it was just altered from the Buddy song, the main theme behind Child's Play. So even though John Williams is a big inspiration on Bear, I don't think this was done on purpose. You are my buddy until the end. The reason going through that is to just show that we could find random similarities and they're most likely not intentional, especially if we toy around with the notes a little bit. And we are going to do that, especially with themes from the Rings of Power, because we know Bear is trying to tie the music, to a degree anyway, to Howard Shore's score from the early 2000 films. But we need to remember he's not thinking about anything else. And we don't have a temp score since Bear is doing his own thing, and even said that the showrunners basically just let him loose to compose each episode. So any similarity is most likely going to be unintentional. Should we expect composers to know every bit of music that's ever been written? So let's go back to that breakdown of the theme. It's really just those few notes that are repeated twice going down the scale each time, so it's a sequence and a common sequence at that. I mean, for example, Trevor Jones' score to The Dark Crystal in 1982 uses something similar. But we can easily find that sequence from before 1977, the year A Bridge Too Far came out, in Live and Let Die in 1973. Or how about in Jimmy Webb's song Up, Up and Away from 1967? Would you like to ride? And we can even venture further back to Rachmaninoff in his second piano concerto. As you can see, that's not a unique sequence, and like a chord progression or a scale, it's part of a composer's vocabulary and doesn't mean it was lifted from anywhere, especially maliciously. So let's remember to take a moment before we start throwing the accusations around. 
Personally, I love hearing about these similarities and welcome posts that say something like, hey, Gladriel's theme shares a melodic sequence with A Bridge Too Far over something like, wow, Bear McCrary just stole Gladriel's theme from John Addison's A Bridge Too Far. We are way too jumpy about copyright infringement and plagiarism accusation nowadays. We really need to chill out.